Good morning, Thursday morning. 17th of September. Ho, ho, ho. It still hasn't rained. This is Psalm number one, which I'm particularly fond of, with Jeremiah chapter 17. Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, uh, or stand in the way of sinners, or sit in the seat of a mockers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And on his law he meditates day and night. Good morning! Day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever he does prospers. Amen. This is Jeremiah. But blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. He will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when heat comes. Its, its leaves are always green. It has no worries in a year of drought and never fails to bear fruit. Amen. <coughs> oh, a year of drought? Well, we all have our difficulties. It's part of the human condition. But the thing is not not, not to lose one's faith. The more difficulties God piles upon you, the more he loves you. Truly, I know this. So my year of drought has extended to 19 years of drought. But there we are. Never mind. Blessed is the man, or sit in the seat of mockers. So all these youngsters, mocking, mocking, mocking. And grown-ups for that matter, too, just sort of poo-poo Christianity and everything. Well, But his delight is in the law of the Lord. He's like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever he does prospers. Well, for me, whatever I do, I do not want mega material prosperity, for heaven's sake. What I want is to know that there are other human souls out there who love God through Christ. And if I've helped them to that path, wonderful. That's prosperity. Wonderful for me is prospect. So yesterday I meet an older man, John Horton, his name, he's a biologist but from this area, but he's 62 years old, by the river here in Stone. He was sitting there reading a book, I thought, it turned out to be his own book, which he had several copies. He's lived in Brazil for the last 29, 30 years, by the Amazon, somewhere. So he's got a house out there, can't buy back into the English property market, etc., etc. Yes, Methodist, Baptist background, and so on, but he's more or less sort of moved away from that. Well, but then we had a nice conversation, and all... I don't ram my faith down people's throat, but... He asks a question like, what do you think of other faiths? Well, indeed. So then I go off into my, you know, spiel about Abraham. And yes, of course, one must love one's neighbor, but not their faith. I am a jealous God, thou shalt have no other gods but me. So we had quite a long conversation. It's perfectly obvious and clear that I am a Christian. I'm living in faith. And that's the point. So he's an older guy at a bit of a crossroads. And hopefully that might help him. See, he came to me. I didn't go, and he was sitting quietly. I was sitting quietly. <laughs> I love you, my lord, of all my heart, my dear friend. 